Hi, John here. Today is Tuesday, 9th of January 2018. Good, uh, Willie, how are you? Very well, sir. That's good. Hey, uh, Al, who is on this change from the uh, 19th of Friday to the 26th in Tuinga Waka Marae? Because they had a, um, and it said they have a uh, uh, Catholic Church. Um, birthday party on that Friday, so uh, I've changed it a week later, if you're coming. Oh, I'll see if I can make it, because uh, we're trying to go down to Rafala. Oh, okay. Because they'll be on the 25th. Oh, oh, that's right, that's the birthday. Yeah. The 25th. Oh, shucks, I didn't even know. I forgot all about that. Oh, hell, I, I, I'm trying to get this done before the um, Waitangi Day. Um, but I, I clean forgot about the Ratna day. Never mind, it doesn't matter, I'll, I'll still have it anyway. Uh, it's not too important uh, an issue. Um, but I'll just uh, carry on with it. Um, so, uh, what's, what's, uh, what's the latest up there? What's, what's happening so well, far? Uh, we were supposed to have had a meeting with Naidu. Yes. But we aborted it. Oh, okay. Because of the weather. Yeah, no, oh, that's unfortunate, but uh, however, you'd have to go to the next plane if that one didn't work. Um, so the time is of the essence at the moment, I think, uh, of uh, something happening. Yes. Okay, okay, so uh, that's the sort of thing I'm expecting to happen. Some, someone's going to make a move. It's going to be one or the other. They're going there mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to Brussels and uh, they will help to report back, I don't, I don't know, report to who, but back to wait on me. Okay. Uh, we were wanting to go down to uh, Rasanapa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll have to do something like that. I'm, I'm saying. Well, I, I, I sent out a text to them yesterday. Yeah. And then I just wanted them not too long ago. And, I, and they said to me, I, 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 I have to explain who we are. I said, we are the uh, fucker minnega or the ranachira or the fucker putawa. Yeah, so. so they they will have to co accommodate you you fellows there in 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 this matter of time anyway because it's of importance from where you fellows are standing up in the Hokianga especially and and well, to tea, but uh, particularly you guys in Hokianga there's a lot riding on that. Yeah, well, uh, I barely know that so he said the question me, and I go, okay, and then I put you on the porter home. Mm -hmm. So I wonder uh, what is the result of that, uh, well, whether indeed he has called Puro, because if he did call Puro, then, then Puro would have, would have put him through the ring, I would say. Yeah, so so that's the point here, I'm saying. The tea at the moment is more important up there in Hokianga as far as Ratna goes, because the Ratna started there. It started in the Hokianga in Tahike, in that area. So they should, they should not cross it out. That's what they're virtually doing with you guys. If you're not being um, 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 said who you are, that's that's a bit um, a bit harsh to say it like that. I'm, I'm expecting the Ratna to be on their guard, especially when I heard um, um, Hay Haywood and um, the other minister at the. Uh, uh, Nuki Orich's funeral, I heard them clearly say that they're not letting the government go to Ratna. So there's something going on, whether they have their own agenda and have left the Whakamininga. That's the part that bothers me. It bothers me because um, I'm, I'm saying the original history for this country is in Hokianga and the Ratna church 
came later after the Methodist Church and before that the Wesley Church. And that's where this uh, business of the British comes in at, at the Wesley Church. That's where it all started there at Cayo. The, uh, the first um, Marsden, uh, I've gone right over my tracks with all of that. I've, I've gone and double checked that the Ratna should at least acknowledge the Whakaminia from what it is. Um, I'm, what, what I'm hearing from you, I can just about tell what, what they're, what they're um, trying to do with or without the government. Yes, they would be. They would be getting edgy because it's catching up on them. That's what I told Manahi, that the churches are in an order of sequence behind the Whakaminia and, and what happened there, where they came into existence, was in the Hokianga. That's before the treaty. You see, I've been double checking on all of that lot against any history, and that's why they're edgy. That's why they're edgy, because they don't want to deal with that flag. The flag is frightening them, because it's got a straight line to Britain over anything else. Yep. We have sent letters to John Martin. Yeah. And uh, I'm not quite sure who's the third person we've sent a letter to. Yeah. Uh, instructing them that we will put up the flag. Yeah. So, so your interpretation of the flag is your business. It's not their business to say anything about the flag. That's what I'm saying. They're holding on to the flag too, in in the Waitangi Marae. That's that's why we've gone through a lot of trouble to see who's using it. They shouldn't be using it. It should be the Whakamini or somebody that's got the right to have it. Not the government, not the, not the iwi Maoris, not them. They're the ones that are using it. And so, as long as they're using it, we don't get to use it. And anything, anything to get that flag back, um, and that's a piece of land that's like all the rest of the land. If one land equals the rest, then it's hard to just get one nailed down. I can't even get on 31 of the land blocks I'm a owner on down the East Coast because of what I'm doing to try and get on one of them. Because the trustees and, and the trustees and the government are holding over us and the flag. You see, so anything is possible from what from your angle and uh, because you're going to put host meetings, you, you're there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, well I'm saying in all encouragement Whatever you can do, you have to do, because... Yeah, 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 well, we're, we're doing the maximum we can do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've got no, 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 nothing wrong with that, but it's the interpretation of the flag, who's interpreting, who, who else is, uh, is talking for it over in the government, or, or Charlie's gone to the world, world Court, I know what he's gone there for, because he's chasing after the flag as well. But he's going to the World Court, and that's that's not exactly Westminster. They're starting to change, and now Trump has gone with the British, joined up with the British now. So there's something really big going on. I'm, I'm preparing and watching the news and what's happening for our flag's sake. Uh, not not that um, anything's going to uh, happen in a hurry, but I've still got my eye on Cook Street. I haven't finished with it yet. I'm I'm, I'm about to get it. But I want to make sure I'm diplomatic, uh, uh, diplomatic all the way through it, that I don't put a foot wrong uh, uh, with with anybody. Uh, so, so it's good if uh, you can fill me in on what's happening there. With Morris and I, we're we're sticking on the British side uh, with his titles of those uh, deeds. I'm just going down the deed track at the moment with him uh, and see where that goes. We have to try. We have to to uh, push that side of the flag along, while you fellas push that side of the flag along, uh, we're on the British side of pushing the flag on that end. So just to, just to be clear with you, 
in this next hui, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking on the iwi uh, uh, um, uh, Te Uriaho and, and um, uh, Ngāti Whātua. Uh, they're, they are a tribe of their own, separate from us and separate from the rest of the country. That's been set up by the Crown, uh, Te Uriaho and, um, and um, uh, um, Ngāti Whātua or Raki got a title of their own. That's, that's the part that's been hidden away from all of us. Uh, but I'm, I'm pulling them into the court now to show their title for Cook Street. And if they don't turn up this time, then I'm apostolizing all the documents this week. I've got them all, uh, the book that we signed, and all the books that were signed, I'm getting apostoly. That's including you being in the Waitangi Marae. They'll be apostolized. Once they're apostolized, I'm going to force the law on them. On, 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 on the trustees who are, who are jamming us up with what we're trying to do, you fellows are trying to do, we're, I'm trying to do, and it goes on and on and on. But I'm going to, I'm going to um, get them sealed by, by a, a, a notary here, that's one that's accepted by the government, and then put it through the internal affairs and the foreign affairs straight to England. So that's as far as I've gone, just to let you know that um, those, those documents will be out. I've just split them all into separate documents and bound them up, uh, separated the documents singly, leaving the pound note just to legalise and, and uh, apostolise the pound note, the flag, uh, uh, my position as, a, as a, a surrogate king to act for the king, for the flag. And these are just legal things, not the land, legal things. Are you still up there, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm staying there all the time now. I'm, I'm going to base everything from there straight to Britain. That, that marae there and, ta and uh, Tungawaka marae, those two marae straight to England. So we'll see where that goes. And I'm just being very careful how I put things together, uh, so long as it's, uh, it's going to tie in with the hapū that uh, they, they, they own everything I say, um, as far as I'm concerned. I just need to get one piece of land sorted and the rest should follow after that. It's, it's a long way to do it, but that's the only way I know with being on land titles and, and uh, real estate and banks. I'm trying to get the pound note legal. Once they apostolize it, then I'll start using it. I'll start using it for the, for the right reasons. Uh, and so that's where I've gone as far as I can with the law side and the land will, will look after itself after that. But this is where I think that that's, uh, no one would go into that side. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that um, 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 Morris has got the right documents and the deeds. He's got ten blocks with deeds on them that he's got back on his own. And so he's financing me right through to pay for everything so that I get it through one head. So just to let you know that he's the one behind me uh, and being very quiet not to not to uh, get it out too far. I'm telling you because I, I trust you um, in anything I say or I do or I'm about to do or, or make statements. It still comes to the fact that you have been there um, um, from day one in Waitangi Marae. And that's that's everybody's seen all of that. Everybody's looking at what I'm doing online. It's on 1473 YouTube videos now. So these things are, are, are used as evidence in any court hearing uh, for these lands. But I'm trying to make a good job of one land block to tie it right up so that we can go and do some more and all the rest of them. So that's how it works, Willie. I'm glad that you you have got you on the phone because. Uh, I just wondered, I, I haven't known what's going on uh, with uh, you fellows in Poroho. Uh, all the best to you guys, but, um, you know, just keep going, uh, one or the other. If Charlie's going to the World Court, uh, well, that's the court. Um, um, you've got to get through that, through the United Nations. It's a long way around, but I'm going straight into Britain. I'm going straight, straight, straight to, to, to where the flag's going. Okay, well, thanks, mate. Cheers. Have, have a dear, man. You too. Bye. Well, there, that's Willie. In some ways, I trust him uh, for listening. 
for listening. Willie's a very good listener. He takes the time to listen, and that's all I need, is someone to listen to logic, common sense, and something that works. So far, so good. Um, we've been able to put all these documents together. I haven't even started on the day I went to the gym, but um, getting fit is not getting the work done. And when I come back from, from there, I went for a long walk and come back, I couldn't do any more after that. I was uh, just too tired. Uh, so tomorrow I'll just have a little walk and then get on with it. Because I've put on 5 kgs and that's not good. It's not feeling too good. So, um, uh, Willie and all you, you uh, lot there at Waitaha, um, um, now I can see where you fellows are, uh, are going. Um, I've been over all this before, but I went on this track straight into Britain uh, because I'm holding documents that that um, that will stack up straight into Britain with the with the history and the titles and especially especially Pohara Pa in Waikato and um, Karapiro in Arapimi between between Karapiro on this side of the river west side of the Waikato River and Arapuni on the east side of the river. Um, uh, in Pohara, it's right be beside the rock. I call it the Rock of Travolta, but the rock below Mangatoturi Mountain. Now, my, my distant belief is that the Pa site on top of the hill um, was the Marae, and it got destroyed. So the marae there now that's got a name, Mangatoturi marae, is not the original marae. They wouldn't put a marae right there where their fort was. Okay, they had their paths and their marae right together at the top of the hill. The same as Referefa Manikau's marae was up the top of the hill at Cornwallis, the head of Manukau Harbour, so they can see right down into the mouth of the harbour, who's coming into the harbour. And on the south side, there was Pupanga Morai. And on the south side, Waiuku, that's Manukau Morai. See, the names got changed. One thing I hate about people changing names, it stuffs the titles up, good and proper. That's what I'm saying with Daryl um, Pay and my, my friend in California. The white man has a bad habit of changing names, swapping them, and then losing sight of titles. It's all right, it's got a trail, but it gets worse and worse. The moment it changes hands, it goes into another hand, and another hand, and then someone else comes along, whops it off, and then changes into somebody else's family, and that's the end of that title, and it becomes harder to undo and Quite frankly, I'll just go right across the top of them and flip the whole lot off. Once I get Cook Street, I'll flip the whole lot straight into Britain. Now, I'm just talking to Daryl. I'm keeping right up the top end of things. He's just picking up on where I'm at, right at the top end of what's happening at the top end. Trump is just making agreements with the British establishment. You see, with the Queen around the back door around the back door. He's going to get nailed. The Queen is going to get hung with these acts of King William IV because they're going around the King's bench court. The British Navy military are the ones who, and Brexit, are picking with this flag that they won't have a bar of anything coming from America around the back door because they got no king or queen there other than Ernest Augustus. He's a king of Britain, UK and over and they're trying to get rid of Britain. Now Trump's in with the queen. The queen left Britain and thought it would just fizzle and disappear in thin air just like the American Rothschilds US dollar thin air is disappearing. They'll disappear with it, but we're going to get them before they disappear, the common people of the king. 
Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Is that <coughs> Trump? <coughs> I'm just reading it. What's what's happening over there? But this is to Gene Odin in America. Gene Odin, I don't like what you said about me. I don't like what you said about me. I've gone along with Gerald Payne. I was. Uh, I wasn't having anything to do with Americans because of what you just said. You Americans are all fakes. Fakes. That's, I can say that because you fellows are sitting on Indian land and you're only leasing the land, occupation titles. And you think you're just going to swipe the whole world like that, Gene? I don't think so. I think you need a bullet in your head the way you're talking, as if you professors know everything. You professors know just a bit too much. The bullet is an assassin's bullet from Britain, from the Freemasons. They're the ones that got the bullet, not me. I'm using their documents. Gene, I'm using their documents. You don't have a king's flag, so you can't... So you can't say anything, so shut your mouth, Gene Odin. Shut your fucking mouth. You did a commentary on uh, with me on Cook Street, and you said you wouldn't let me talk on my own camera. You see? You said, oh, cut in. <clears throat> you came here and talked, hoping that you would stay on this country, on the Maoris title. Backfired. You had to go home. You wanted to stay here, but no one wanted you up here. They didn't want you, Gene, because you're a big mouth. I don't trust Americans, let alone Daryl and Renee. I'm only going with them because of their titles. I just picked two people with titles. They're not the titles that I've got, clean cut titles. They're around the corner titles, but nevertheless, they are titles that have come out of another title, out of another title, out of another title, out of the British title of kings. There, you bitch. Swallow that lot. You'll be just like Karen Hudes, big mouth, thinking she's going to get the gold in the Philippines, while my girlfriend happens to be a Philippine. And I'm going there. You see? Because I'm going to cut a deal with... <clears throat> Rodriguez, Duterte, President, he says, stuff you Americans. Bullshit. See? He's right. He's right. Stuff you Americans. Bullshit. Big mouth. Cause war. Your country, Gene, causes all the fucking wars, kills people, and tries to take every country in the world by force. You are the thugs with Israel and Donald Trump backs Israel. Anybody that backs Israel is a thug of Rothschilds. They screw that country. It's not the Rothschilds country. Right? It's not their country. They are all thieves using this admiralty law of a king. You got to America on this admiralty. Gene Odin, white man, you got there on these flags of kings. Now, you don't have a king over there. You only got a stupid fucking real estate agent that's going stupid, pouring you in the head, mad. You'll all end up mad. You're shooting yourselves up. The UN's coming to blast your heads off. And you go and pull the money on the UN. You, you, you people don't know anything about fucking peace. You will have no peace, no sleep, just more fucking thuggery war. Hollywood and stealing. The land stealing everything. Best of just stealing everything. That's all you are, Gene. I'm saying this on this video. I'm citing you with a power note on your fucking head for getting in my road and saying things about me. Cost you a bloody trillion on your head. Anybody who gets in my road is speaking for the king. And you call me king? King John? You call me King John. 
That's on paper. That's on paper. All the documents. I speak for the king. You don't speak for the king. No one does. No one speaks for kings. Because they can't. That's all there is to it. You can't speak for this king's flag. That's a king's flag. Municipalities. You stupid bitch. That's to pick the money off you. If I tell the British to go and pick it off you for breaking our laws in these books. In these books, I'm just putting them together. I'm citing everything, citing everybody that gets in the fucking roads, like you, saying stupid things, you stupid woman. You think you know too much. You think you know everything. Here's all the acts, see? This is to be apostolized. See? King William's acts. You'll get a hanging chains and X right on your head and here. I'm allowed to do that. Gino Dean. If you get in the road, I'll just pull one of these out of here. These, this gets one apostle on it. Each of these books, I've got many of them over here. You've seen them. There's this one here. See? This, Deep. Deep. Rick Warren. Rick Warren. Property. Position. And this is the deed of New Zealand, there. That's the deed, huh? Her Majesty the Queen, deeds of settlement to settle to the whole historic claims. That's Ngāti Old Aki. That's the Crown's deed itself, talking to itself in the mirror. Now, you come under the Queen. You don't come under the Kings. You come under the Queen. Because Donald Trump's going to mummy, isn't he? He's going to mummy and suck on the tits. You stupid Americans, he's going to suck on mummy's tits because he's got nowhere to go because he's going to get his head blown off and assassinated if he doesn't. Listen to Big Papa. Eh? If you don't listen to Big Papa, he's going to get his head blown off like Kennedy. Trying to be Mr. Good Guy. So there we have, that's one apostolate. I've got a few more to do yet tomorrow. I'm going to leave everything for tomorrow. There's another one there. Another one there. See? Starting to New Zealand there. Right? I've gone through a lot of fucking shit over this lot with you stuck right in the middle of it, Gino Dean, here in New Zealand. You came here, you came here hoping to stay here and run away from your country and fuck the bloody Americans and come here and live. Eh? And sponsor off the Maoris. Now, now you've turned cartwheels. Now that Trump's got him, you, you think he's going to save you? Like hell, he's not going to save you. He's going to save himself and get rich at the same time. But guess who's going to take it all off him? Hmm? You haven't got a king over there. Nothing. So I'm um, just saying with Willie, if you get to watch this video, Willie, you can see I do a fair amount of swearing. Well, that's the other side of me. I have to be a pirate. I'm acting part when I'm wearing these clothes. I just so bloody hot here. It's sweltering hot. I've got the fan running over here. Over here, look. It's spinning its wheels over there. See? Can you feel the wind? It's blowing. See? There's all the documents down there. See? All in pieces. All the bits of paper here. Split out. I've got to put them, split them all out and put them in the right places. There's Ernest Augustus sitting right over there. These all sealed. Stamped. Got a king stamp on it, got a king's flag over there on it, got a pound note on it, right? Got a fucker pop on it, title to this country, right there. Fucker pop. And it's got some over here. And you've got you bastards, Americans, here, using this as a corporate. I'm a corporate there to whop you people with this name. Right? And my name is O1. Right? Not 007. I'm O1. Right at the top. O1. And there's my file number. From the police who stole my shirt. And gave it back to me. See? They lost the case. They lost the case. Gene Odin. All your country in America is run from here. You stupid bitch. And this is all, 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 the, all the documents here. I'm, I'm, I'm putting them all together. That's Cook Street there. See? I've been methodical, that's right back in 2000 and, no, 2008, here these stamps I had in the first place. Okay, that's when I started with um, um, Rita, Rita and R Ricky, Paul, 
uh, here, Peter Meyer, here on this document way back in 5th of August 2009, or 2009, Jamie Peters in Cook Street in three properties. My daughter got taken off at the same time, two house, three houses, are in here, and the title's here for the documents. And the seal of Moai there, standing in London, standing in New York, standing in Washington, D.C., in your country, you fucking useless bitches in America. That's my Moai standing right there in New York with King William. Okay, that's the mana of the world. And there's the King William the Fourth, the two chiefs, Hongi Heka and Te Rewaikato Wharehere here in Manukau, and Thomas Kendall, Bishop, and the flag over here. That flag there, right here, right there, in 1823. 1820, they went to England. 1823, the contract was signed with Rehwana from Monaco right here, right there. Rehwana from Monaco right there. Okay. Nakarana, Auckland, November 11th, 1862. That's the New Zealand Native Land Act. And there we are with the flag and the chiefs and myself. Now, if you can get any better than that in America, Gene Dean, don't flip and talk to me like that. You stupid bitch. You think you know everything. You know the drug. You wouldn't say that when Hillary was in. As soon as Trump got in, you're gonna open your big mouth and away you go thinking he's gonna save you a lot. No, he's not gonna save you a lot, he's gonna get himself fucking hung. And there's John Key, the pound note, and there's a trillion pounds just just on your head now. Gene you Dean, you've got a trillion pound on your head. Same as this John Key, the banker, and Declaration of War. Just a Declaration of War flag, right here. Okay, so that's that lot. That's that. I've got a binder now. I've got to have to stitch all those together. And the combs here, combs, and the backings in front. And I'll get into that tomorrow. Another day. Another day. Put that over there too close to my kitchen. Well, we'll get a nice place one day soon and I'll be in <coughs> Philippines before you know it. So there, that's my little workshop and the sun is just setting. It's now around about, what time now? It's 6.32 or 7.32 in the evening in New Zealand and the sun is just setting late tonight and I'll just put this back up here and finish this video. So, summing up today for my day. Um, for um, Waitaha in Hokianga. Kai, uh, Kai Kohi, um, Danny Watson. Um, I want to tell you guys this is that I've done all my research doubled over. I've gone and spent more time going over the history of Hori Tikuri and Taheke Marae and Rawini, Horeke, and Mangungu Mission House, Wesley Mission, Hori Tikuri, um, agent for the Crown, Britain, was allocated to Taheke to look after all that land on that side. Another one to Kayo and so forth, up the line and down the other way to Otawa, o o o o um, Poto. So the agents went around from Wesley Church, was there before the Ratna Church. The Wesley Church, then the Methodist Church came out with the Ratna Church came out of the Methodist Church, you see? 
That's only 100 years ago, next year, or this year, 2018. Right now, 18th birthday on the 25th of this month. I went down at least two or three times with Molly Manukau down to Ratna um, for the celebrations. I picked up a lot of history there. My Wainoa family's there with the Rogans and the Manukau. <coughs> and that's my connection to this whakapapa here between the Rogans, the Manukau and the Wainoa. I can speak for either one of them. I'm speaking for King William IV, King William III, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I in this way. Okay, and with this connection to Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau in Mangatauteri, Parkside, Cambridge, Waikato area, the name Waikato and the name Manukau, they go together as one name. However, it gets split out by Napoli is for them to stand up in front of me on the 25th of January 2018 in Tungawaka and stake your claim against this title. Now, Willie, thank you, mate. For that information, otherwise I haven't heard it from anybody. I'm not getting calls from anybody up there. I can expect that because of what I say online on these videos. I'm citing every video I say and make statements as true and correct. It's for anybody to make a counter a video. You must make a YouTube video with yourself and your face against my face, the same as you. Gene Odin in, in America, you go on YouTube and refute what I'm saying about you being a bitch and that I can predict what's going to happen to you over there and Trump already. Moai knows everything. Why for you to say to me one minute I'm a king, now you're saying something different. That Turtle Island belongs to you. No, it belongs to the bloody Indians, not you. You're only occupying lease on a king's lease. Can terminate the whole bloody lot. The British can terminate the whole lot if they want to. Okay, getting too close to the bone there. You're getting too big for your boots. The Americans' mouth is just too big. You need a few teeth knocked out. Then you'll have something to say quite openly. Um, so, um, for those that. Um, I'm only relying on you, Poro, um, um, uh, Willie, Peter, um, um, to go to Poro and, and the rest and tell them what I'm saying or watch the videos. Uh, because as far as I'm concerned, Morris, Baker and I are going down a track that no one will go down because of British origin and this book of Moira Hoffman's. This blows everybody's whakapapas to smithereens. With this Marae Taike, it blows the Ratna church to smithereens. If I showed you these whakapapa in here, to Kupe, Puhi and Raidi, it would blow your whakapapas right out of the fucking sand in the hills with this Taike Marae. I have to bring it right up so I can see. Right, the marae. You see the marae, the kauri tree. What the British came for, the white men came for these trees because they were very valuable. And they came on their ship with their British flag up here. Right, and they came from London to Hokianga. See, you see, they didn't go to Titi Marae. They came to Hokianga in this book, 1820s. Okay, this is 1820s and the whakapapa right here. Don't get in the road. Do not get in the road because the British are watching what you say or do when I got this in my hand. It's their history with 
that picture as being graphic. And it's better than any other document with writing on it. The picture says a million words. With the Marae and New Zealand and this title. And this big power note on your fucking heads. Right? Everyone. Everyone. And you, Gene Odin in America, you've got a trillion pounds on your head. Right here. The same trillion pound on John Key's head and any other corporate thug. Straight on your head on the birth certificate. That goes up against my birth certificate. It's worth that much. This birth certificate here. This is Exhibit A. Exhibit A from the New South Wales New Zealand government. Here. Exhibit A, Wānoa, in capital letters, and a name called O1 is worth one trillion pounds bond on your head of any thug. That's just the birth certificate. Have a good look. That's me over there, right? I look a bit different than what I am now. But I'm not too worried about that. And this one goes right over everybody. Okay, 970 million trillion trillion pound note looks like this. Okay, but the real one is with Ernest Augustus, the fifth living in London, as our reigning monarch, sovereign, authority, jurisdiction of Admiralty, and court martial law of the land. And laws of England. And he is our oath of office. This will be apostolized. This has got everything in it. This was signed by the chiefs and stamped. You see, there's a fuckpapa here of this one. Here. To New Zealand. This is Te Rawaika to Wharehere, Wharehere, Here, Manukau's title. I'm claiming that title. Okay, and there's the East Coast and those chiefs that I come from. Okay, so everything's in here, and that's Ernest Augustus there. And these, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head. Jean Odin, that's King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, currently the king of the municipalities, King George IV, uh, King George, King, King William IV and King George IV, and there's the two chiefs right there. This is native. This is not your stupid American white men making fucking outrageous claims with no basis. And there's Rafael Fomanikau's transfer of title to Rogan, British agent. Not general. He's a captain on ships and magistrates. Real magistrates. I'm citing this writ of execution demolition order and I've taken Donald Trump's state of emergency and flipped it into our jurisdiction and using it on him and you, GRD. I'm using his state of emergency martial law plan on you people for violating our jurisdiction of Admiralty, court martial laws, that you use to steal land. We're going to grab it straight off you, because that's our law you're playing with. You're playing with our law.
So I'm going to continue with this. Oh man, it's so hot. I'll continue with this tomorrow, but one more time for uh, Winnie Pedro and those people at, at, uh, at um, Waitaha. I heard what Willie said, that you fellas are going down, or somebody's going down to Ratna, and they're not too cosy with the Whakamininga. I already know that. They have problems with the substance of the Whakamininga, of who they are. That's what they want to find out. They should have known that, you see without making apostolies, they don't know who we are. So I'm going to make apostolies so they know who we are. You have to make your own apostolies to make certain who you are. I know who I am as the Confederation. I'm the old Confederation. It's right here. This is the Confederation of Moimata. That's the Confederation there. The Whakameninga is right here. But no one fails to see, no, no one sees it, that fails to see this. It's how this Whakamininga put together Ngāti Whātua. That's Ngāti Whātua there. Mohi Manika and I put this together. Little did I know that it was going a different path from what I really thought it was. So I'm taking the Manikau name off them. Off those Manikaus and those Ratnas. Ratna Church. You've got to have somebody at this meeting, or this hearing, in Te Marae with your title against this title. Because if you don't, it's going against you. This pound note is going against everybody in this country who's voting for this government to keep rolling on the corruption and fraud that John Key just dropped a bombshell and took off with his bounty and hightailed it out just like a good, bad pirate. Skimmed a lot and fucked off. That's how I talk like, like a pirate. He fucked off with his money, cashed up, took off. Now he's got bitcoins. The bitcoin's going to get this up the ass. Everybody who's doing the bitcoin, the, the, the US Federal State, get money, any money that's been derived from this land is getting this slammed up their nose up their ass, more so. I'm saying to the British military and navy, once this is apostolised, then everybody's seen what I'm saying. I don't care how I say it, I'll say it this way, the way I feel and the way it's so hot here, I'm not going to wear good clothes in front of you because I won't last long or faint. I feel more comfortable like this. And to you guys, Poroho and you guys, I haven't talked to you for a while because I think you know what's going to happen. Because I've been ignored, booted around, I have no further interest in going to Waitangi. Not at all. Because the mana is not there. Bundy says the mana is in Tatima, right? Mm -mm. The mana is in here. The crown is holding. They're holding this Nati Fatua o Oraki and Nati Fatua o Kaipara title inside here for themselves. And I'm going to take it off them with this fucking. 970 million trillion trillion pounds and a writ warrant here, right on each one here. Now, going back to this Tahiti Marae and Hori Tikuri. I have worked it out that Ngāti Kuri Hapu have ignored Hori Tikuri and Tahiti Marae as if it didn't exist. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're following your own pathways, but you won't get any of this, because Bundy says 
it's not about the money. No, it's not about the money. It's all about the money here. Otherwise, there would be no highways, no houses, no protection, no police stations, just chaos. And shooting with guns. If they didn't have a government running it. Now, for a Maori government to come and start another Maori government, when there's a Maori government already operating in Wellington using this and this flag, as if they're one of us or one of you. I'm quite separate from you guys because I'm talking British with that book of Morris. Okay? I'm, I'm having a dig at her because she says, oh, sounds like I'm going to grab land. No, more I'm not grabbing land. I'm fucking confiscating it. I'm fucking seizing it because it's got fraud on it. And I can tell by looking at the names how the fraud started in the first place and how it just rolled over and over and over and over. Well, all the people sitting on the land are just occupying the land on a title of somebody's authority. That's what I'm saying. If we took everybody and put them all in a room and asked them where you get your authority from, how would you get here? And some say they come out of the ground, well show us where the hole is, where, which hole you come out of, and where did it go to, where, where's the tunnel to be, where's the tunnel to even to. If you're made from the earth, well you can go back into the earth. And that's the end of that. See? So no humbug stories, no bullshit names in the Moai Crown Corporation. This is a corporation I'm talking about because Queen Victoria corporatized the Maui statue. It wasn't us. She made it corporate and made it work for her in Queen Elizabeth the Second Great Court. The Queen hid it. Queen Victoria hid it away and Queen Elizabeth bought it out and put it on display to make money out of it. That's when she corporatized corporatized. Well, rather, in 1868, Queen Victoria bought one of the Marais, stole it off East Island, the first one ever stolen, and brought it to England. The, the, the Dutch didn't steal it. King William IV Dutchman and King William III Dutchman didn't steal it. They just left them standing there. We're all standing there until this fucking rogue, Rothschild, and Victoria came along. The women are the biggest fucking fraudsters out. Just like you, Gino Dean, the woman fucked everything up. And your big mouth fucks it up again. Okay? Between you and the Queen, and uh, uh, Elizabeth and Queen Victoria, you fellas fucked our titles up. The King's titles. Now the King's going to fix it up. Well, that's fucking lot. Okay? You're going to have to wear the bill. You're going to have to wear the bill for fraud. Donald Trump's fraud. Hillary Clinton's fraud. Obama's fraud, it's all rolling over and over and over. Rothschild's fraud, you live with that. That's your problem. You're supposed to fix it. You haven't fixed it. You're going to run to Britain, and Trump's running to Britain to save his fucking neck from getting wrenched off by the Rothschilds. Well, not by the Rothschilds, by the Freemasons. All these documents here are Freemasons' documents. These documents here are all Freemasons' documents. Well, he's 50 years in the Freemasons that he worked with. I'm part of what happened there. I have all his Freemason stuff here. Bro this, bro that, and bro here, and this way and that way. Just to steal the fucking land. And while he went along with the Freemasons right here, that's what I'm saying. This, I put this together with him. Over a period of time, six years, I've been with him longer than that, but six years, I stayed with him and his brother, Tony Monaco, in Kaipara, Helensville, to put all his titles together. At the same time, I put all my titles together. That's why I know everything. So don't try me, anyone. I'm saying everything is true. So for you, back to you people in Waitara.